everybody, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Link Between Two Worlds. <gasps> I hear that game's really good, but who cares? Let's go to the high necked record shop. <laughs> the record owner here has a really long neck. Please don't look at it. He's kind of sensitive about don't it. Don't look at her eyes. I <laughs> oh, God. I love soul just like me. Mega Man, where is your turtleneck? This this is for uh, Steve Jobs impersonators only. <laughs> now on sale, twins. I oh, love that twins! Movie. This is the Japanese remake. <laughs> they didn't get the joke. They they actually cast twins. So, oh. listen. Let's listen to some heavy metal. Is is this a Mega Man X song? It's not. Because it sounds like it should be. A lot more than it sounds like heavy metal. Yeah, it kind of sounds like it should be Mega Man X. Jazz. This is under the best hits section. <laughs> the best hits are all jazz. This is definitely a beatnik store. That's why they wear all the turtlenecks. Yeah. I don't think Mega Man's into jazz. Whenever you buy something here, everyone just snaps and nods at you. Yeah. Yeah, man, dig it. Dig it! Instead of having, like, a service belt ring, they have a bongo. Oh, yeah, smooth. <laughs> that lady said she was listening to music to make sure her baby got a head start on music. Is she putting the headphones on her stomach? You know that's a thing pregnant women do. You do know pregnant women are <laughs> insane. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Baby Mozart? Yeah. Ah, oh, some nice fusion. What's what's being fused here? Music. Instruments. Somebody's smelting a trumpet and a trombone <laughs> together. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that's not gonna sound good. <laughs> I've combined the theremin and the cymbal. <laughs> Don't ask why. Bakery shark skin. Don't ask about that either. <laughs> Look, the, the less you question about our community, the better you're going to get along here. <laughs> Say hi to Mega Man Paprika. Welcome to the island. Keep your head down and your mouth shut. <laughs> Akbar. You cannot sell this game in today's America. No. <laughs> Where are all the toys? I don't know. There's just it's Dash so small. for Mega Man Dash. So this uh, is that new game called Mega Man Legends. Oh, it looks pretty interesting. And then Mega Man fell into a hole, and then down out of the sky and back into that hole forever. Yep. So there's actually a prototype like demo of Mega Man Legends out there back when it was going to be called Mega Man Nova. Uh -huh. And even and the Akbar store also co had that texture to call it Nova. They actually decided to change it. Oh, that's cute. This this shopping market area also had like alleyways and stuff to go in that they removed. Yeah. Did they have an optometrist? Because I think I found someone who could use that. <laughs> so there's another new item in there that's a chameleon net, and if you use that, you just you just get ignored by enemies for a while. Huh, okay. You can only have one at a time, though. Ooh. Bye. Bye. Did you really get your eyes checked out? Thank you for the business. I'm sorry you had no flavor text to share this time. Okay, bye. I don't know what this old lady does here. She mumbles. Like, she just mumbles and... Like lady. What does this store sell? His books. Oh, okay. Remember, yeah, that's, he looked. That's your average bookstore. Yeah. Remember, Mega Man looked in there and thought it'd be pretty fun to look at those dirty magazines. That's why she's mumbling. <laughs> she's trying not to make eye contact with the weird perv. Uh, uh. There we go. Oh yeah. 
So constantly kicking machines and stealing free soda from it is one of the other things that makes Mega Man a jerk and will turn his armor a darker color. You know what I do whenever I glug down a swig of nice refreshing pop? You fist pump? I fist pump. That's what <laughs> I do. Oh, yeah. My uh, my office, has the, the pop machine is free. Oh, man. I'm fist pumping all day long. <laughs> You're also incredibly healthy because you just keep refilling your life. <laughs> Look, if there's no money, there's no calories. That's the law. <laughs> So now we're going back up north to where we fought Teasel. What is with this leap? Are you playing Hulk Ultimate Destruction now? What do you think? I'm, I think you are. Yes or no? I, I don't know, man. No, I, that's a habit I had from when I played that game as a kid. I would always, once I got the high jump, I would always jump over the streets for some reason. Uh, and I still do that. <laughs> it's not jaywalking if you don't touch the street. That's true. So a little bit further up ahead, there is that abandoned house mm -hmm. that had nothing in it. But if we go in it now, uh, those kids are in here. You dang kids. Dang kids. You just can't live here. You gotta pay money here. It's not a secret anymore, okay? I know about you and your friend who looks kind of like a pirate and your other friend with the fish t-shirt. Why aren't you nautical, big fella? <laughs> You need, like, a boat captain hat or something. Kid on the left has no eyes. His hair just took over. Yeah, let's join the gang. Mega Man's a gangster now. Oh, here, a big jerk. All the... Things! Oh, no, not things. Ah, oh, damn it. Anything but things... So this is like a multi-part quest where you gotta help them build their secret base. Because as a game from Japan, that's just in all of them. <laughs> all of the games from Japan. So we need to get them a pickaxe. But even further up north, there's that sub-dungeon I skipped. And that was because there was some stuff in there I wouldn't be able to get without the jump springs. Like a pickaxe? No, actually. I'm this questioning is just the efficiency of your route. Uh, well, this is the furthest up north, and I, after doing stuff in this dungeon, I basically never have to come up here ever again, and I'm already pretty <laughs> close to it. Believe me, I actually thought and planned out this route. All right. <laughs> well, I didn't write it down or anything. And you can see I did fuck up the planning a little, because I completely forgot to refill my special weapon energy. So I had to use up that hyper cartridge I bought right away. Oh. That's 3,000 zenny down the drain. Oh, better kick the can. Yeah. It's okay. I'm sure there's a random... 1,510 zenny. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. The... Wow, your shield is wide open for a yeah. long time. Getting nicked by explosions keeps it open for a really long time. So I kind of like the music they use for the dungeons in the Legends series. It's, it's fittingly atmospheric and, and spooky. Yeah, it's not like music. It's just kind of droning, spooky stuff. But I like the sound of it. Yeah, it gets across the mood of, like, this place is ancient, you don't know what to expect, don't get comfy. It also makes the Reaver about to seem more menacing than they really are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the point of the walkway? You can just jump up there. Well, you can't jump up there if you come here before you have the jump springs, though. I guess. I guess. Watch out, they're gonna get your ankles. I'm gonna blow up my ankles, and then what? Uh, and then you're gonna have really sore feet. You'll uh, have to sit at home while all your friends go to the water park without you. Oh, uh, man. 
and you won't get to go on the big slide and then you hit the bottom of the pool and you flip over and the the guy collecting pool the the the, uh the tubes gives you sarcastic clap says nine out of (laughs) ten i had a great honeymoon guys i uh... all right (laughs) (laughs) it's been ages since i've been to a water park michigan's adventure (laughs) i've been to that one you haven't or have i have okay i'm almost certain i have I went there once, uh, and then a year after I went, uh, one of the rides I was on killed somebody. So it was also nice. it was also one of the ones with a ridiculous name. I can't can't remember the full name, but it was like Ultimate Chaos or something like that. <laughs> and it was just this. Oh. So you rode a JRPG boss. Yeah. And, uh... Uh, it was just this fucking thing. It was just a whole bunch of chairs. You sat on it. Was, it didn't go. It wasn't like a high ride or anything. It was just one of those chairs, but it span. It would just spin really fast, but it also would like lift up and turn you upside down, so you were like three feet above the fucking ground. And that's how somebody died because they just it just threw them out of the ride and they smashed their head on the ground and, and dead. Ah. Yeah. What, what's with all the mimics around here? This, you're getting a high density of these. Yeah, I know. There's a ton. Pretty sure this is a mimic too. Yeah. It's a trap box! Three exclamation points. One exclamation point for every bomb it throws. Oh, That's man. designed for you. Yeah. You don't see that kind of attention to detail in Western games. <laughs> Triple, Triple aces. <gasps> they, they misspelled it. Oh. Triple access is just a busted part. The re- real reason why you want to come here uh, is to get that cannon kit. You may or may not want to uh, play poker right now with your triple aces. Hmm. Maybe. Mega Man got the bluff adapter. So when you equip different parts, it actually changes the size and color of your shots. Yeah, I did notice. That's pretty cool. Um, the more, the higher your attack stat, uh, the larger your shots. And I believe uh, it's your energy stat that changes the color nifty it might actually be a mix of the other three stats but eventually your shots turn like golden and stuff and that mean that's when you know Mega Man means means business what if the uh, the color was like each stat was like the R G and B value that might be that that'd be weird that'd be weird but neat fucked up but true And also, this building is very slowly being rebuilt. This construction worker is wearing a Met hat. What up, Gumby? (laughs) He has a pick, though. He's just willing willing to give it to me. I'm actually kind of bummed out that none of the Reaver bots in this game are Mets. All you get for Mets is that guy's helmet. Well, don't shoot him in it. It's just a waste of time. Yeah, that man's invincible. He will outlive everybody in this island. He's invincible from the eyebrows up. Wow. There's a lot of space you could shoot that guy. Here's the dumb pick. Give him a guitar pick. They won't know the difference. Just, they'll just keep twitching. Eh, eh. Uh, eh. Uh. I think the pirate really has to pee. Yeah. Eh. And now we just gotta wait for a little bit for them to build the house. But enough time has passed that the uh, bank is finished. Hooray! Now, this is is this determined by like game clock, actual time, time, or I think events? it is. I, I believe it's actual time. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It seems to be around ten to twenty minutes, I think. But it wasn't like system clock. It's like your actual. I think it's your play actual playtime, and oh, you do okay. need to like move away from the area once, I think. Oh, man, I can't access my bank account! You have a bank account? No. <laughs> Mega Man puts all of his cash underneath his mattress. You can't access it for several reasons. Hmm. Uh, luckily, we've been able to reopen business after my black eye. 
So you don't get any actual side quests by going to the bank, but there are a couple that require the bank to exist, so... Hmm, okay. Um, but since we've grabbed some more money, it's time to talk to the mayor again. Yo, what up, mayor? It's okay. I know the mayor. <laughs> We're like this. Yeah. So now we're just going to donate the rest of the money that we need to fix up everything else that got blown up. Hooray! Fair amount of money, but not too bad. There's actually... Um... There are other times later on in the game where those buildings can be destroyed again. <laughs> and, can you rebuild them again? Yes. Um... You have to be. You have to mess up pretty bad for them to get blown up again. You gotta do something with all your Z notes. Yeah. Mega Man's making it rain. Oh yeah. Throwing these really giant hard crystals is kind of a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> Rap videos are very, very dangerous. <laughs> Lots of people get injured in strip clubs. It's still better than uh, in the original Mega Man series when you had to try to figure out a way to like s slip a lug nut a into a thong. Oh yeah, that's that's <laughs> no good. It's a newspaper. Hooray! That's me. Are, are you a superhero now? <laughs> the mysterious blue boy. <gasps> There's a whole wing <laughs> dedicated to Mega Man. He is making his way up in this world. There's like an Andy Warhol uh, printing of Mega Man. <laughs> so those new headlines do update when you do more stuff in the game. That's cool. Also, I like the music a lot for the police station. Yeah, this is pretty great. Although I don't like what this girl has uh, to say. You know, I'm angry too. <laughs> Well... Okay. <laughs> do, you, do you ever recover them? No. I don't know if that's better or worse. She's always just really mad about it, and the author is always just, Yeah, I'll fill a report, fucking whatever. You know, you can get them for like, a buck. Yeah. I mean, they might not be the ones you want, but... His design. <laughs> yeah. He's such a Saturday morning cartoon detective. It's the best. Yeah. It's the hat and the mustache. I just and wish when he talked that his mustache moved along with the words. <laughs> Let's talk to him again. Oh, Inspector Mega Man. I was hoping you'd come by. My nose looks like a mushroom. <laughs> Eggman, I need you to buy me a lamp that isn't square. Weird little kid with a yellow face. That might be racist. Get out of here. <laughs> you know how those people are. No, I don't. Littering. Three things. He admitted it, Mega Man. <laughs> The safe thing to assume is that we need to arrest all people with yellow faces on terrorism charges <laughs> and hold them indefinitely. I'm sure you agree. Oh no. So we just started new side quests about something going on downtown. And it's best to save before you start this, just in case you mess it up. Because if you try to s call a roll while this quest is going on, uh, she won't be able to help you, and you won't be able to save. What? Because Data's with her. May the Data be with you. Because <sighs> this is a side quest you can mess up, and this is the one where if you mess it up, you might have some buildings get destroyed. Oh, snap. 
When you said later, I thought you meant like later, later. No, no. Not later today. A bomb! A very small bomb. More like a firecracker, really, but... Gotta find the other two before they do nothing. <laughs> well, maybe if they're right by a house, they might, like, blow a hole in the wall or something. You! Tell me where <gasps> the bomb is! I'm Jack Megabauer. Mega Bauer. Mega Bowers is Jack Bauer, but very large. <laughs> Mega Bauer is ready to. I almost called him Mega Bowser. <laughs> no, that's completely different. That's different. That's something in the 3D Super Mario 3D world. So that lady said there's something going on by a greenhouse. But there are multiple greenhouses. Now, is this a house painted green or a place where they grow plants? Painted green. I don't think they thought this through. Hmm. But there are multiple greenhouses. Thankfully, it's a little bit easier to jump on top of these houses because some of them are being rebuilt. Ah. Oh. oh. So, would this even be doable without the spring jump? Shoes? Um, space boots? Yeah. I Screw attack? I think maybe. It'd definitely be a lot harder without the jump springs. Yeah, that's the ones. Um, but... Like, if you had these buildings being built here... You might be able to do it. Maybe. So how long have you spent wandering around looking for that thing? It was about a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, the other one... If you get some other hints... Well, actually, this one is supposed to be the one near the greenhouse, I think. The <laughs> other one I got is the one you get you find after getting the other set of hints. Um, nothing in that trash can. Even after you finish the side quest, this intense music keeps playing until you leave. Oh yeah, this is intense. When I think intense, I think <laughs> the melodica. <laughs> Let's get that music away by going to the library, checking it out. Keep as quiet as you can, we're clearly having a funeral. If you're listening to, <laughs> to the music. Inside this library... is a surf bot! <gasps> oh! What's he doing? Oh, I was hoping it was self-help. Military strategy. He's looking for who moved my cheese. <laughs> How to win friends and influence robots. <laughs> This serve bot is going to learn one weird trick Miss Tron doesn't want him to know. <laughs> a book about ethics. Let's read it. This is the only thing in the game that tells you if you're a dick, your armor might change color. Kind of. <laughs> you just have to find out. <laughs> will reveal themselves through their appearance, which will darken. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something worth remembering. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just going to keep taking all this technology for granted, Mega Man. I don't really care that much. Once I leave this library, I'm going to completely forget. You know, I don't think too much about it, since we have unlimited energy beneath the ground. Mm -hmm. And people like you to go get it. <laughs> it's a pretty swank system they've got here.